Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So, um, so use a limit comparison test to determine if this series will converge or if it will diverge. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, as n tends to infinity, as n gets bigger and bigger, uh, if you look at the, de the uh, denominator, you're, you're adding on an, an insignificant amount. So when n gets very, very big, you can think of the, uh, the de denominator as being square root of n. So, so we should compare this. We should compare uh, this to uh, to this. So, uh, and and the, by now, by now, you should be able to recognize straight away that this thing here is going to diverge. We, we've done this many times. Um, this summation here will diverge. So we should we should be uh, comparing this with this. So let's start again. Hang on. We are trying to determine if this series will converge or if it will diverge. So we're going to uh, to compare it with this. So now um, now we need to look at the uh, the limit. So so if we get a n divided by b n, so let this here be a n and let this be b n. Let this be b n. So if we get a n divided by b n. So we get um, if we get a n divided by b n, then that will then give us this. That will then give us this. So now uh, this thing here, tidy up, and it will then give you, it will then give you this. So now, um, now as n tends to infinity, what is the limit of this? What is the limit of this as n tends to infinity? Well, as n tends to infinity, uh, this thing here is is going. Well, as n tends to infinity, you can think of the look at the denominator. As n tends to infinity, um, this is going to be insignificant. So really, the numerator, you're going to have square root of n, and then the denominator, you're, you're adding on an insignificant amount. As n gets bigger and bigger and bigger, um, the denominator will just act like, like this. So this here is 1. You know the limit is 1. So going, going, back, to, um, going back to this, we, so, so when we get a n divided by, divided by b n, we, we, we get a limit of 1. So that's this scenario here. The limit is not zero. The limit is not infinity. So we can forget about this. We can forget about this. We've got this scenario here where the limit is, is, is one. So, so we, we, we establish that the limit, we establish that a n divided by b n, the limit is one. So we've got this scenario here. We've got this, uh, we've got this scenario here where, where the limit is one. Well, one is bigger than zero. So we've got this scenario here. So uh, so now now we now it's saying that um, if uh, if b if b n diverge, then a n, which is this thing here, which which is a thing that we know nothing about, we're comparing it with something that we do know about. This thing here we know is going to diverge. Well, well, once this has been satisfied, uh, if b n diverge, which it does, then then uh, a n will also diverge. So we, we, we know that this thing here is going, to, is going to diverge. We know this thing is going to diverge. So this series here must also diverge. Okay? So the series here will diverge.